What's up guys and girls, it's a vision. Welcome to the last Epoch News Update. Yesterday, September 28th, Stan Zawar from 11th Hour Games posted a September update to the progress they're making on multiplayer. We're gonna take a look at that, see what kind of new information there is. Multiplayer progress update. Hello travelers and welcome again to the monthly multiplayer update. Through the last month, we were hard at work delivering our Sands of Majas update, which of course takes some of our attention to ensure we can deliver a high quality release to everybody. We are humbled to see more and more engagement with new players every day, and the reality of what this means for the scale of our multiplayer release is not lost on us. I'd like to update everybody on our goals from the August update, as well as share some information about some decisions we've made for group arena play. I'm also going to discuss some of our learnings we've made on the scale we need to get to in order to ensure a high quality multiplayer release. Onwards to the updates. Number one. Convert the idle system to be 100% server authoritative. This is complete and works well online. We'll have ongoing work to fix a number of the idle affixes, specifically the ones that have very unique custom properties such as casting other abilities. It's more important for us to focus on the backend and technical portions of multiplayer at the moment, so we're happy with the progress we've made here until we can get to community testing and multiplayer alpha testing. Collect additional server performance data. I'm very happy to say we now have this. We can now actively see the performance of all of our game servers at any given time, and we have a permanent history of them all as well. It's possible for us to find outliers, good and bad performance, and major outages using our own hand-built diagnostics. This is crucial for us to be able to work quickly if there are issues when we go live. If you're having a bad time when Last Epoch Multiplayer goes live, we're going to know where to look right away. Number three, improve gamepad support for server-side multiplayer. We performed some preliminary investigations here and discovered that it'll take some refactoring of our existing gamepad code in order to make it easier to co-develop it with multiplayer. We know what to change and have a plan for of how to do it and anticipate no issues making it all work. We're going to return to this project once we're done focusing on our backend and scaling. Number four, more testing and optimization of the arena experience for multiple players in a party and advanced supporting systems noted above. After playtesting, we have decided that multiplayer arena runs will use a group voting system in order to allow players to vote on whether to continue to more challenging waves. How it works. Every five waves, a majority rule voting system will determine whether the arena run continues to additional waves, and when a player in a group dies, they'll remain, they'll remain down until the end of the five wave run. If the whole party's down, the entire arena run ends. And then you get to see a picture of the UI here, which looks really nice. Looks really crisp. Um, why use a voting system? During playtests, we felt that having an entire arena run in due to one player having to leave the party unexpectedly felt too punishing. Using majority vote system to progress in the arena allows the party some level of flexibility, which is particularly beneficial when attempting longer arena runs. We'll continue to assess the multiplayer arena experience and make any further changes required before we release it all to you. Number five, start preparing to add multiplayer to the community tester program. I probably should have been anticipating the response here as I caused some chaos for our support team by having the community re reach out through our support network. Sorry. We had an overwhelming response of people interested in involving themselves in our community tester program, no doubt aided by the fact that it might involve early multiplayer testing. I want you to know that we've received everybody's responses and will eventually be selecting new candidates as we get ready to test our game at scale. If you've already applied, we'll eventually get to you. Multiplayer stability and scale. It's first worth establishing two important concepts. Last Epoch is a multiplayer game, and Last Epoch is a platform. The first refer refers to all of all our game content and gameplay netcode, setting up all the game content online, compensating for gameplay lag, essentially making sure the game's functional and feels good as, our, as good as our single player game does. Last Epoch as a platform involves everything else, everything else it takes to bring a game online. How do we allocate your servers? What is our matchmaking code? How does our character storage database work? Can our login system handle hundreds of thousands of requests at the same time? Do we need a queue system? Do we have metric systems in place to monitor the health of all of this? We've been performing relentless testing of our multiplayer platform for Last Epoch to ensure it can scale up to handle many players and do so in a stable manner. Between our continued development of our skills as live ops developers as well as observations about modern ARPG releases, we've learned a lot about where the real risks of a live release are and the servers are the easiest part. As a result of all of this testing and learning, we've come to discover that some of our back-end services may not hold up well to scale as well as we would have liked them to. We're very happy to make these kinds of observations now before release to a lot of unhappy people unable to play our game, but it still means we need to go back and make some changes. 
So what does this mean? Firstly, this does not stop us from working on Last Epoch multiplayer gameplay content. We're still readily adding and testing our single player content and prepping it for group play, making sure it feels great and performs well. It does mean we are taking a step back on some of our backend systems to make them even better, such as the way we allocate servers or our chat system. While these discoveries can often feel like a setback, the reality is that we're co collectively quite relieved to now have the confidence to build out our own platform and own it. We're also confident Confident that we'll be able to quickly fix any problems that might happen when we go live. We now have a clear vision for Last Epoch as a long-term live platform, and I'd like to share some more of my philosophies on that next month. What are our goals for October? We'll be focused on making the changes mentioned above for the sake of our stability and scalability. We're actually well underway in most avenues here, and we hope to be playtesting Last Epoch multiplayer with our new changes in the next coming weeks. Until then, we're still actively adding and changing game content to account for group play. Rather than provide a list of bullet points this month, I plan on discussing the core pillars around what matters to us for a successful multiplayer release and what you as a player should expect from us when we go live. I'll also update you on the progress we make strengthening our backend to prepare for release. I'm sure we're also going to show you a cool gameplay feature too. Thank you so much for all the support and I'm really excited to show you all what we have cooked up for next month. Stands war. So that's that, guys. That is the September multiplayer update. I'll have a link out for this down in the in the description if you'd like to read through it yourself. Make sure you go give it a like. Um, we, as a community, I know really appreciate any updates um, regarding like the game's progress. This is really cool to read and gives us a clear idea of what to expect moving forward. And uh, thank you guys for watching this too. If you've made it this far, uh, I want you to know if you're here right now. I really really appreciate you being here and uh, supporting the channel. If you'd like to see more of these news updates as new information becomes available, uh, please let me know down in the comments. If you have any questions or anything else you'd like to add, you can also ask down in the comments or find me on Twitch between 6 and 11 a.m. Eastern Time, streaming Last Epoch. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more builds and more things Last Epoch. Peace.